What's going on YouTube? So the MDX is a very important product for the Acura brand. And as a matter of fact, it was the brand's best-selling model by far last year. It's also long been one of the best-selling luxury three-row SUVs. And Acura wants to keep up that momentum with a big list of important updates for the 2025 model year. It's got highly requested changes, such as a touchscreen infotainment system, new A-Spec advanced trim, and styling revisions on the inside and out. So does this refreshed MDX have what it takes to stay on top against new rivals? Well, let's go ahead and take a first look and find out. Now, a good place to start off will, of course, be with the exterior design and up here in the front. Indeed, Acura has made some meaningful changes. You'll probably notice that the grill does look quite a bit different. That's because each model is going to get a revised grill. This is the Type S. So this, of course, is the top performance model. And because of that, it's going to get a new, very aggressive grill. You'll notice that just like the Integra as well as the TLX, we've now moved to a frameless diamond pentagon grill. So there's no chrome or anything like that. And then we also have the open surface mesh here, which allows for more airflow in to the high performance engine. Now, in terms of the other trim levels, they also, like I said, do get updated grills. And one of the big things for 2025 is the fact that the trims have been revised. So by popular demand, Acura will now be offering an A-Spec Advance. So that combines the luxury features of the Advance with the styling of the A-Spec, which is going to be very similar to this Performance Type S we're looking at right now. Now, if you take a look here at the lower fascia, you'll also notice just how aggressive this is. So we've got a lot of gloss black finishes here. We have the big vents, again, to get the airflow in with that open surface finish. And overall, it just looks a lot tougher than the outgoing model. Then taking a look at the headlight, these are going to be pretty similar to last year. We still have the signature jewel eye um, LEDs with the chicane daytime running light. Uh, for 2025, it's going to be a little bit of a darkened finish around the headlight. And then most of the models are also going to come with LED fog lamps down here at the bottom. Now moving on to our wheels, one of the other 2025 updates is the fact that every single trim level except for the base model will get a new wheel design. So for 2025, since the advanced package is going to be standard on the Type S from now on, that means you're going to go straight to these 21-inch Berlina alloy wheels. Again, there is a new design which basically kind of makes the spokes further apart so you can see those beautiful red brake calipers very well. And overall, it just looks fantastic, especially with the gloss black trim that runs around the outside edge. Now, that's going to contrast nicely as well with a new paint color for 2025. So this color you're looking at, you may have noticed that it was also added to the updated TLX. It is called Urban Gray Metallic, and it's a really nice looking color. You can also get another new color, which is called Canyon River Blue. Again, we're gonna have a nice gloss black finish here on our sport trim levels, like the A-Spec, A-Spec Advance, and the Type S. And obviously this fully loaded model will come with all the features on the mirrors. Now here at the side of the refreshed MDX, we're gonna still have that same overall length of 198.4 inches. And of course, with the Type S, we're gonna have some really nice blacked out elements, including this piece through the door and like Drew mentioned earlier, around our wheel surrounds. We also have a nice blacked out roof rail set up at the top. Now, working our way around to the rear design of this refreshed model, you will see, once again, that signature MDX look, but it certainly has a, a very premium and aggressive look if you choose the Type S. Now up here at the top, we have a integrated spoiler. We also have a exposed rear wiper. And as far as the design changes go back here, there's not a ton of design changes, but what Acura has done is kind of massage the taillight a little bit and they've also darkened it. So you're gonna have that sportier look, um, similar to what you see in the headlight in the front, and it is going to be a full LED setup just like before. Now dropping down to this lower area, you will notice that all of this is gonna be finished in a nice body color. We also have piano black going through here. Additionally, we're gonna get quad exhaust outlets for the Type S. Of course, this is the performance version of the MDX. Other versions of the MDX are still going to get exposed exhaust. It's just not gonna be the quad setup. 
Now, when it comes to safety, the Acura MDX was always advanced, and for 2025, that's only going to get more advanced. They've enhanced the radar systems to improve all of your four active safety features on all Acura MDX models. Additionally, I do want to point out for the Type S model only, you have the ability to auto lane change. So you're going to get some of those more advanced safety features on this fully loaded Type S. But there is a lot of technology enhancements on the inside that we need to talk about. But first, if you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. All right, now let's move on to the inside. Of course, you're going to retain a smart entry system, just like last year. But let's take a look at the interior. So obviously the overall design, if you're familiar with the MDX, is going to remain pretty similar to the last model year. But really it's the details that make this cabin substantially different. And we'll get into that in just a second. But first of all, I do want to talk about the seats as always. So we're with the Type S once again. So that does mean we're going to get kind of the most aggressive seat design. So this is a full Milano leather covered seat. We have this beautiful stitching design that goes all throughout. New this year, we now have suede inserts that are gonna go down the bolsters throughout. By the way, these bolsters are adjustable because these are 16 way power adjusting and we have Type S branding up there as well. That also brings me to another big point. Previously, it was just your very top trim level that had the 16 way power adjustment and also had massaging abilities. Now that's been expanded across more of the trim levels, beginning at the advanced trim level up to this Type S are gonna have 16 ways of adjustment with massaging abilities now. We also, of course, have memory seats located over there. Different trims are gonna have different, slightly different um, seat designs, of course, but let's go ahead and climb inside. Now that we're inside, of course, we need to look at the overall cabin materials. So MDX has always had a very nice cabin that continues this year. We've got leather all through the armrest portion, all through the center section. We have this beautiful open pour genuine wood over here on the door trim. As we go to the upper dashboard, all of this is gonna be finished in a nice leatherette with a genuine stitching detail, more wood, more piano black, more leatherette that's gonna go down through here. And overall, everything just fits together super nicely as we expect. Now, obviously we are in a studio setting, so I'm not gonna fire it up, but we do have all the electronics booted up. And that really is a great place to get into um, some of the major 2025 changes because we're seeing some huge tech improvements that I think you guys are going to really, really appreciate. Let's just go on and talk about the elephant in the room. That's going to be this display. You might be noticing the fact that this is much closer. It used to be kind of way up here. Now it's much closer. And that's because, watch this, guys. Boom. This is now a touch screen. Everybody has been requesting this for years, and Acura has now listened. We have a 12.3 inch touch screen display. Not only that, but it also has a brand new software system. So this is an Android automotive based system with Google apps built into the system. So now you're gonna have access to the Google Assistant, the Google Play Store, Google Maps built right in to the system itself. And obviously all that is gonna work very well with voice commands and things like that. Um, they've also made some improvements inside the system in terms of just making things easier to find. So if you go into like ambient lighting here, now you can see all the different um, choices that you have in a much easier way instead of going through all the previous menus. Now, another thing that's tech related, of course, is our gauge cluster. Previously, we did still have this 12.3 inch gauge cluster, but what's new is that you can now integrate in things like that display. So you can see the map display going on right there in the gauge cluster itself. Overall, very nice looking display. We have a huge head up display with really big readouts and navigation information. And then as we come back to the steering wheel, if you choose one of the sport trim levels, which will be, of course, A-Spec and Type S models, you are going to have a flat bottom steering wheel. We've got the nice perforated leather here on the outside edges. Steering wheel will be heated on most of the top trim levels, and you do have rain-sensing wipers as well. Across the entire lineup, you will retain the power tilt and telescoping for the steering wheel. Now, 
let's talk about storage. Obviously, inside our center console, we're going to have a good deal of storage. New this year, we've got two USB-C ports inside. And you'll notice that this looks quite a bit different. Because we now have a touchscreen, this has allowed us to get rid of that previous touchpad controller and use that space um, for other options. So what they've done is move forward the wireless phone charging pad. They've also made it larger. And that's going to make it just easier for you to come in and throw your phone down. You also have a nice storage area for keys or anything else in addition to your two cup holders. And then you've got a couple more USB ports underneath of that lid. Our shifter is going to remain right here. It is the electronic style. Obviously, you push D for drive. You've got paddle shifters on the steering wheel. And when you go into reverse, um, you're going to find a 360-degree camera system on many trim levels. As a matter of fact, this will be on the advanced trim level and above, which again is one of the big things about having the A-Spec Advance is because now you can take the A-Spec design and for the very first time pair it with premium features such as the 360 degree camera system. Now, I think it's time to go ahead and talk about our audio systems as well. So obviously you still retain the physical volume knob, which you see right there, but this year, every single audio system is enhanced. So that includes even the base model going up to now 11 speakers. Um, but the other trim levels, those are going to move from an ELS studio sound system now to a new Bang & Olufsen. So we first saw this with the ZDX, and this is going to go across the entire Acura lineup. They're moving to Bang & Olufsen audio systems. Now, in terms of the speaker counts, technology through... All, all the way to the Type S are going to have the 19 speaker Bang & Olufsen. Previously that was 12 and 16 speakers. And the Type S though, this one here, is going to come with a 31 speaker luxury Bang & Olufsen sound system, guys. That is the most powerful Acura system ever offered. And it has things like 12 speakers mounted in the headliner, 8.8 .8 inch uh, subwoofer, and you even have tweeters up here um, in the pillars. These are branded and you also have the beautiful metal speaker grills located in all the door trims. Now unfortunately I can't give you guys a sample of this quite yet. Um, the final software is not finished but we definitely look forward to giving you guys a sample of this when we fully test out this MDX hopefully in the next few months. Now in terms of some other things, uh, climate controls, those are the same as last year. So you can see you have three zone automatic setup. You also have automatic heated and cooled seats on most of the trim levels. This is where you turn on your uh, massaging as well. And then I already talked about everything inside of the display. We do also have our auto dimming mirror with Homelink Universal Remotes built into it. And then finally up here at the top, for 2025, you continue to find a standard panoramic sunroof on all versions. Now the MDX is a family SUV after all, so let's check out the rear seats and see if there's anything new back here. Now, in terms of your overall space, you wouldn't expect that to change for a refresh. Uh, we don't have the official legroom figures just yet because uh, this is a very early review of the MDX. However, we can assume those will be the same at about 38 and a half inches of legroom about 38 inches of headroom. And here at Car Confections, we want to provide all the measures for you. So we're going to be sitting in around five inches of additional knee space. Additionally, we can slide these seats forward and back a very good distance. And then in terms of features, here in the center, we do have our own climate controls. We're also going to have heated rear seats. That's going to be included on the advanced trim levels and above. And down below that, we have a 12-volt household outlet, and we also have two USB-C ports. Now, one of my favorite things about the Acura MDX is that we have this middle seat that has multi-function. So we can actually fold this down, use it as kind of like a captain's chair setup, or we can use it for additional seating if we need to have the full uh, seven-passenger setup. We also do have cup holders in here. So this can be fully removed and you can have that full captain's chair set up if you'd prefer to have it like that. Now, looking at your door trim, we do have rear window sunshades and we also have, you know, some wood trim going through here. More of those beautiful Bang & Olufsen uh, speaker grills and then down at the very bottom we have some bottle storage. 
And let's go ahead and check out the third row. To get back here, you just push this little button. That's going to fold the seat forward. And then getting back into the third row itself. Space figures are, once again, uh, most likely not going to change at all over the previous 2024 model. So we're likely sitting at around 29 inches of leg room. Um, as far as the headroom is concerned, it is going to be a little bit tight for someone who's five foot nine like myself. And let me just go ahead and hit the highlights. We do have two seats back here. Um, additionally, we have a cup holder and a USB-A port here in the third row. One thing I am really, I was really hoping they would add this, but they still have not added a uh, rear climate vents. So here in the third row, you're just going to kind of be left out alone. Hopefully it's not too hot or too cold outside. Now walking up to the tailgate, if we open this area up, once again, uh, Acura has actually confirmed the cargo figures and they are the same as the 2024 model. So we're going to be sitting in around 16 cubic feet of space behind the third row. If we reach up here and fold down the third row, which is manually folding, by the way, a power folding has not been added. We're sitting at about 39 cubic feet of space. And then as a maximum, we're sitting at about 71 cubic feet of space. That's going to put it mostly in line with most of its rivals. Um, and of course, that's, like I said, the same as last year. Now, underneath of the cargo floor, you do have quite a bit of additional space. Um, I'd say at least you have probably four or five more cubic feet of space underneath of the floor. You're also going to have a power outlet and the really cool walk away function. So when you press that button, it will sense that you've left the vehicle and it will go ahead and shut the tailgate. Now let's go ahead and talk about what is under the hood. So for the 2025 MDX, we continue to have the same two engine options as we had before. Most of the trim levels, except for the Type S, are going to continue with a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine, which makes 290 horsepower. However, if you choose the Type S, that's going to get you upgraded to the 3 liter turbocharged V6 engine, and that's going to make 355 horsepower. Regardless, you are going to have a 10-speed automatic transmission. It is retuned for sportier driving dynamics on the Type S, and then front-wheel drive will be standard. Super handling all-wheel drive will be standard or available across the entire lineup. Fuel economy should, therefore, remain pretty much the same this year. And one thing I do want to talk about in terms of the driving dynamics, obviously we're not driving it here in the studio, but Acura does say that they have added a lot of sound deadening to this new model. So they're claiming that it should be up to 10% quieter this year thanks to the changes that they have made. And we'll put that to the test when we fully review this model in the future. And lastly, let's go ahead and talk about pricing and availability. We have no official 2025 pricing just yet for the Acura MDX. That will come later as this vehicle uh, goes on sale, which, by the way, it should go on sale in May of this year. So you're not going to wait too much longer if you want to pick up one of these refreshed MDXs. That's only a few months from now. Now, if if you want the 2024 prices on the screen for reference, you can see those right now. And then. We do also want to remind you if you're looking to buy any new vehicle or this Acura MDX to go to carconfections.com slash new car quotes. Now, why you do that is because we have a tool on our website that will connect you with local car dealers in your area to get you the best price on your new vehicle. It's also going to give you access to invoice pricing information, which is a great tool for dealer negotiation. If you'd like to take advantage of that, a link is provided in our video description. And guys, that's going to be where we leave off on this first look review of the refreshed 2025 Acura MDX. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, you help get us invited to more studio tours like this, where we can come and be one of the first people to see this refreshed 2025 Acura MDX. So by you subscribing, you play a very pivotal role in the amount of content that we're able to make. If you're already a fan and subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.